Before we start, I want to tell you if you, you still have time to grab some, um, a little bit of salt from the kitchen. We're going to use a bit of salt. I forgot to put it on the instructions and the materials that we need. So uh, because this, I think everybody has it at home. <laughs> I, I thought that it's okay to say it uh, just now. So just a little bit of salt that we're going to use um, for doing some nice effect. Um, I don't know if you already find out that Paint Event uh, and one of the artists of Paint Event launched an um, alcohol ink uh, course that it's really, really beautiful. Uh, Yanka is uh, sharing their three techniques. Um, it's very nicely done, very easy to follow. Also, you can stop it and uh, you know follow it uh, uh, with your in your own rhythm. Um, so it's online. It's uh, I think it's lifetime. Uh, you can uh, anytime access it. And um, if you don't have the materials, you can um, order the pack with alcohol ink and all the other materials at paint events if you are from Switzerland. Um, so, and also the, the instructions. And uh, what I want to say is that in, I think maybe next week or in two weeks, I'm going to do a workshop that it's uh, based on this alcohol ink, um, let's say, artworks. Um, are the, um, let's say, the artworks that you don't like too much or you experiment and uh, you, um, let's say, you don't want to throw them away and maybe you want to try something different. Uh, I'm offering like a workshop on, to doodle on this this um, uh, alcohol ink uh, artworks. Um, it's not just for that. If you don't have, if you cannot access this course, uh, also um, we can do it in like normal paper and doesn't have to be based on that. So we're going to be like, let's say half, half, um, uh, workshop one uh, one part that is based on the alcohol ink um, uh, background and the uh, other one that it's based on any kind of paper we start from from zero and so we can uh, everybody can can participate I'm gonna show you uh, now the um, alcohol ink backgrounds so can be something like this um, so it can be that, uh, I don't know, for example, um, this one, uh, I like it, but maybe I have a part that I don't like it too much and I want to do something here, like, uh, for example, here, I use some parts that I, I doodle on the top, but maybe you have something, for example, this one, I like, I like it a lot <laughs> and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything on this. So it's just that the ones that you you don't like them, you know. Uh, for example, this one it's a bit like uh, plain, like doesn't have too much contrast, and actually it's ideal for alcoholing uh, for alcohol for uh, doodling on the top. And you can doodle with uh, any kind of pen, like something like this, like a jelly roll, uh, something that is doing contrast. So like a white or or golden. So, um, or I don't know, something like this. You see, you can, you have like a lot of space and you can do some doodling on the top. So this is uh, one, one thing. This is what we're gonna do today. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna cover it a bit. <laughs> and um, uh, also I want to say a few words about the uh, retreat that uh, I had a retreat a retreat in Italy now at the end of May, but obviously cannot be um, hold. So I postponed it for September, and uh, in September between 20 27th, and obviously I lost some people, like five people. So I have five people, uh, five uh, spots that can, if you want to come, just uh, send me a, an email or a message in Instagram or Facebook and I can give you more details. Or you can go to my website that it's uh, on, the, on the screen. On the left, you can see the website and I can give you more uh, details there. 
And also, uh, I launched my uh, my retreat in Switzerland. That uh, the first one we're gonna be on uh, July between sixth and twelfth, and um, I'm very excited. Are just five uh, spots um, because of the space. I don't have too much space here. It's not like in Italy. <laughs> uh, so um, uh, already I have two people. So if you send me uh, the same uh, like uh, email or whatever you I can send you more information or you go to my website and also you can send me a whatsapp message and we can talk and discuss if you have some uh, questions so uh, so Yolanda is asking me where in Switzerland it's in uh, my uh, atelier in Retobol which is close to St. Gallen uh, about 12 kilometers from St. Gallen in Appenzell <laughs> in the hills of Appenzell uh, you can see Santis from the window <laughs> and uh, it's a very very beautiful area between mountains and uh, Bodense, uh, the lake the Constance Lake <laughs> so it's um, we we're gonna do like a lot of um, let's say walk in the in the area to go, gather inspiration. We're gonna paint uh, all day, but also we're gonna have time to to connect with with the nature and with the area. So I'm gonna start with the workshop today. Um, so this I'm gonna stop this uh, screen here. No, <laughs> still trying to. And this is more or less what we're gonna do today. It's a bit, I want to show you like a few versions that um, that I did. It doesn't have to be exactly the same like this one. So, so this is one option. It's nice if you have some kind of, uh, like I said, a bit of golden, any kind of uh, a pen or um, ink or whatever you have. Because uh, if you see, it's doing maybe, um, yeah, like this. Now, you see this uh, gold is very, very nice in, in the sun, in the reflection. So this is one. This is like a bit different. It's more horizontal also with a bit of gold doing some reflection. And here I have another one that also it's with a bit of gold and white and some leaves here on the top. So like I said, doesn't have to be exactly like, like what I'm doing, but you can uh, obviously do exactly what I'm doing, doesn't it? doesn't matter okay so like materials we're gonna use like any kind of water paper any kind of size really doesn't matter if you have a big one or small one it doesn't matter um, we need a little bit of tape to fix our our paper so if you have uh, transparent or any color doesn't matter <laughs> okay hello Tilia you are very welcome <laughs> Otilia is from my uh, my country from Romania so I'm gonna say Buna Otilia in Romanian it's hello <laughs> okay And the last part here. Okay, so if you have any question, you can um, you can uh, write me there in um, in uh, YouTube. And uh, I'm not writing, but I'm gonna uh, reply to you. Um, um, yeah, sound. <laughs> okay, so um, like other materials that we use can be um, like watercolors. 
I would say that also you can use any kind of watercolors. Uh, can be like a bit sort of like fancy or can be very simple that you can buy in any any. This is like a bit. Uh, I bought it in uh, in Cop. It's very cheap and actually it's very good. So this one also you can use acrylics, but I uh, advise you if you use acrylic to uh, have a lot of water and um, to not use uh, too much, um, let's say to not be very heavy body acrylic, a bit more liquid. And if you don't have like more liquid, what um, acrylic you can put a lot of water and make it very, uh, very watery, let's say. And to have this transparency and this texture of the watercolor. And like um, uh, brushes, I'm using like one that is very fine. This is very, very fine if you put uh, water. Because in some point we need to do some little lines that are um, very fine. And one that it's, you see, it's not so fine, but still it's not the big ones that, you know, uh, it's not like this. So to have an idea, I don't know if it's the number, they don't say the number, uh, are very cheap uh, <laughs> brushes, so nothing fancy here. And after that, we can use to make some splashes at the end, this fan brush. But if you don't have this one, you can use any other brush, also this one, or if you have like a um, um, toothbrush, actually that you don't want to use anymore, you can take that one and we can do with that one some splashes. Okay, and obviously um, at the end, um, we're gonna, for example, I'm gonna show you here, to do this, lines you can do it either with the brush a very fine one or you can do it with uh, the jelly pen that uh, it's um, white or um, golden if you don't have let's say you can use um, like um, a fine liner black one something like this that it's something that is fine and it make it's making a contrast so that's the the main idea <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to maybe to, to not have like really the same materials. It's nice when, because I, sometimes I find myself uh, a bit um, stuck in using the same materials and doing the same thing and you have the same results. So if you don't have um, the materials, it's nice to, you know, to have something different and you may discover something new, a nice effect or, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to be creative <laughs> and work with uh, what you have in, in this moment. So um, I think uh, this workshop, it's not normally we have two hours for this, but uh, this time it's not very complicated, let's say. Um, probably gonna take a little bit less than, than two hours. So you're gonna still have time to go out and enjoy the sun. <laughs> okay. So let's start. Uh, I'm gonna work mostly uh, wet on wet. That means that uh, first I'm gonna um, um, water the surface with just water and after that I'm gonna add color. If you are familiar with watercolor, uh, probably you know what this means. If not, I'm gonna show you and it's not complicated. At all. So also, you know, if you have like um, some water, mine it's a bit dirty because I worked before. Okay, uh, just um, um, yeah, I think with just one uh, water glass it's okay. And like I said, a bit of uh, salt that we're gonna use in in some point. So are you all ready? I hope you're ready. <laughs> Okay, so I'm working, I'm gonna put this here, mainly today with, uh, let's say for the stones with um, um, like dark colors, but um, more or less, let's say transparent. What that means, it's that I'm not gonna go with the value of the color 
um, very high, that means very dark black, I'm going to have the dark a bit transparent. So you see it's not um, dark like, uh, let's say, like this dark. <laughs> it's a, a transparent black. So that's why I said that if you have acrylic paint, uh, it's good to uh, have it very watery because if you put acrylic paint, it's, it's going to be completely opaque, no, no transparent. When we like to, it's nice to play here with this transparency of the watercolor or with um, acrylic that it's a bit more transparent. So again, for the, the rocks, doesn't have to be black. I use here also a little bit of brown. Um, here, like um, I have different colors, you see, of uh, different um, yeah, shades of uh, blue. Uh, can be a bit more towards um, indigo or um, here actually I mixed like a bit of brownish and black and different shades of, of blue. So it's completely up to you. If you want, you can do some rocks that are like gray or uh, brownish or a bit more reddish. Sometimes you find uh, rocks that are a bit more towards um, burgundy, like, um, I don't know, more this color here, like a bit more reddish. And um, also what... Um, okay. <laughs> It's uh, Stephanie said that it's uh, new to this medium, but also if you, do you have acrylics, Stephanie? If you want, you can work also with acrylics. If not, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is going to be recorded and you can watch it uh, after that and work with whatever you, you have at home. So um, about the stones, what I want to show you, I have like big stones here that I took from the garden. <laughs> And uh, it's very interesting if you study, if you look at the nature around and if you study, you realize that it's giving so much inspiration. It's quite heavy. <laughs> so you see the, the, the stone, how it has this, um, these lines. It's like grayish and after that has some lines on uh, like vertical and after that uh, this horizontal so almost look like not so natural I mean I would like a painter I, I would try to do it like I don't know in my imagination I'm trying to do everything like um, to have some logic I wouldn't do this small ones I would do just one just one direction but you see how the nature it's not it's not perfect it's not how we think about and how we try to organize something to be perfect. <laughs> it's uh, almost like uh, uh, random. I like this part here. It's really nice and uh, uneven. Also, I like this that it's not like a line, perfect line. So you see it's very fine here and here is like a big um, uh, white surface and after that here. And after that we have these lines, very fine. And after that we have these ones that are like a half circle, more or less. So, um, I don't know, for me this is like very, um, it's inspiring, inspiring me uh, a lot. And um, also I have another one here that it's um, interesting, like, also it's not perfect <laughs> uh, stone. Um, so that's why I wanted to show you this that because uh, we don't have to do like perfect stones. Here, for example, I did one that is like this side. This is like a, almost like a cake, <laughs> like a piece of cake. Uh, and after that, like uh, no shape here. And this one, it's almost like a half uh, stone. So um, doesn't matter the... Um, the size of the or the position, how you look at it, or just uh, I think it's it's nice to have these lines that are like a bit similar with the um, with the other ones from the from the stone. So let's start now. <laughs> so now we start with the the base. 
that uh, I'm gonna show you here. Um, I normally put something like, like this, like something that it's, um, let's say, everything is settled on, on that. You also, you can do it without. You see, if you don't put that also, it's, it's nice, but yeah, I, I used to put it. If you don't like it, you don't have to, to put it. And I take, like I said, this is, uh, you won't gonna see it because it's just water in my brush now. And I do, I, I do the, the base. So this, I have the base that is white. And now I'm taking a bit of color. This is like black. And at the moment I do black just like a line. And this is, I love about watercolor that is like spreading. It's almost here, I don't like it because it's like uh, spread it almost too even. So I'm going to put a bit more water because what I like about watercolor is that um, you can add some dots here and there and it's not something so even. And now I'm going to put also, so I'm going to do it like a, a combination between um, blue and brown and brown yes and a bit of black so this time i'm gonna do it a bit more brownish because i have a lot that are like uh, blue so my rocks this time are gonna be a bit more brown okay so now that we have the base We can go to the, the stones. Again, I'm working wet on wet. Like all the time now, I'm going to work uh, wet on wet. And I'm going to do like a stone that it's uh, a bit, uh, let's say, maybe like a, a quarter from your page. You have to think a little bit before we start now uh, how big you do the stones because um, what I notice is that it's nice to have uh, like maybe three or to have like a bit more. Four doesn't look very nice. For example here, let's say, um, I don't know, it's something that for me doesn't really Feet well. <laughs> I don't know why this time here. Uh, I would have loved to be to have just three like this, you see, or let's say something like this. Um, I think the in painting the the um, uh, when it's um, when you have like three, it looks much nicer than. Yeah, I, I mean, it depends of the, the subject, obviously, but I, I notice that uh, all the time when I do, like, has to be like um, uh, four, I don't like too much. <laughs> so, yeah. And also, uh, what I was saying about the, the size, uh, if you do it this too big and if I don't have space for the other ones, it, that's why it's good to to already to have an idea how many stones you want to do and um, uh, how you, let's say, um, distribute them on the, on the page. Um, it's not necessary to have like completely, uh, let's say, like a fixed idea. You can also uh, add something. For example, uh, I had this four and like I said, I don't like too much four the big ones and then I thought uh, if I put something here on the top we're gonna look a bit weird because it's like so long here and I put these small ones that in a, in a way balance the the um, the painting so that's why if you have four it's not the end of the world it's just that you have to see how you balance it also this uh, this uh, rock uh, horizontal can be like um, tilted doesn't have to be completely horizontal so yeah it's it's a bit up up to you <laughs> uh, 
So I have my dog that is exactly in front of me, <laughs> outside, looking through the window. <laughs> and he's like moving the head like left, right. He's like, what are you doing there? <laughs> okay, so let's start with the first, first rock. Um, I'm trying to not touch the, the base. I touched a bit, but not so much, because after that, the color from the base are going to go in, on the rock, and I don't want this for the moment. So if you do it like a big, mo a bit like, let's say, two millimeters from the, um, from the base, it's okay, because after that you can add color and you can unite it. it when it's dry, you can unite the, um, the rock with the base. So it doesn't have to be um, united now. So I put the wet and now I said that I want to do something with a bit more brown this time and I'm just putting here and there a bit of color so you see that the color it's spreading uh, where I had the, the wet not more not far away from it's not getting out for the from the um, wet surface and I'm adding also like a bit more um, like different shades of uh, brown. Uh, you can uh, mix it with a little bit of uh, black or you can even mix it with a bit of yellow. And you have like um, a color that it's a bit more clear or like a bit more dirty. Like I'm going to put a bit of almost yellowish but it's a bit too much for me now also it's good if you have at hand like a little uh, piece of paper like a um, kitchen paper it's good because if you don't like something you can take it okay don't take it away and what i don't want to have it's like a perfect now at the beginning it was looking a bit like a heart and I, I didn't like that. I want to, I mean, not that I don't like a heart, but I want like, like a no shape um, stone. And also I'm going to add a bit more brownish here and maybe here. And now without any color, I just spread it a bit like inside. I take a bit of black, put it here and there. Okay. So this is my first rock. And you see here, I didn't go till the, the surface, the, um, let's say our base. Uh, I'm gonna um, unite them, connect them like later. I, Pass again a little bit of black here because I I want to have this um, uneven surface and I'm gonna pass to the next and let's see how I want to do it maybe I'm doing something that it's connected here or maybe here that it's a bit yeah, I think I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to do it just a little bit to see how it looks like. Something like this. Ah, now I connect it. Sometimes it's happening. <laughs> doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to put the water first. So you can put uh, just directly the, just water, but I want you to see because if I put just water you don't see anything uh, sometimes even me I don't see I have to go down to see how the, the light it's reflecting and <laughs> uh, after that I see so if it's happening it doesn't matter because after that when it's dry you can pass over and uh, also it's interesting to have this connection it doesn't uh, like I said in art nothing it's um, it's not any rule, you can do whatever you feel like. <laughs> and now I want to do a bit like, um, yeah, more 
reddish bits. Now it's almost too reddish. So I'm going to add a bit more black here. Need to make this fire. I think we're going to be again some <laughs> um, black color of my rocks. So here I put almost too much and I'm going to take a bit. At the same time also it's nice to have like some different surfaces. Okay, if you have this one, um, now if you have a little bit of um, salt, any kind of salt, you can put it a bit on the on a paper if you don't have it already and we take a little bit of, of salt and we spread it on the first stone and we let it there so this the, the salt you're gonna see that is taking the um, the water and when it's completely dry we're gonna have like a very nice effect on on that and also we can put on the the second stone if you want maybe a bit less and my first one I put almost everywhere on the other one I put just here on the this side okay and how is it for you up to now if you want to to drop a line and let me know I would like to see to see your paintings. <laughs> if I'm going too fast, just let me know. I can make a break. Are you all from Switzerland? I mean, Otilia. Otilia, I think it's she's. Are you living in uh, Romania, Otilia? <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. She said it is, uh, it's fun. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> oh, Stephanie is from South Africa. Wow, nice. Yolanda, yeah, it's from Spain. Okay. Otilia from Romania and living in Romania, okay. Because I have some friends here that also, they are Romanians but living here. Ah, and Yolanda also living in Switzerland. Nice. <laughs> so we are from all over the world a bit. I love this. This is so nice in, with the internet that you can connect with people from all over the world. Especially these times. And by the way, about this um, balancing, balancing rocks, balance rock, rocks, <laughs> um, I like them a lot because in a way it's giving me um, this feeling of, uh, you know, you have to find the balance. I mean, obviously it's very easy to find the balance on, on paper. <laughs> But uh, make me think, uh, think at the, the real rocks and uh, how hard it is to find our balance, you know, to find the balance when you, you want to put like a rock on the top of another. And uh, sometimes you, it's very interesting because you have like a small rock and after that you can put a big one on the top. So makes me think that um, sometimes you can find your balance like... Um, it, it, first of all, that is very delicate to find your balance <laughs> and each one is like so different and finds the balance in such a different way and uh, that uh, sometimes we need just very small thing to, to balance our, let's say, our life. Uh, sometimes for me it's like um, uh, just reading a book <laughs> or painting something. It's, it's not a big deal if you think about, you know, it's like um, 
I mean, in some point of my life, I thought that I have to go to India and stay in ashram and stuff like that, like like big, big steps, you know. Uh, and now I realize that it's like sometimes it's very, it's just small things. It's like maybe just having a walk in that moment what you need it without delaying the um, um, delaying the moment, you know, like, okay, I know I'm going to relax when I'm going to holiday or stuff like that. So it's like, now I feel tired, now I'm going to sleep, not, uh, I'm going to have a coffee, you know. It's like, um, the body is screaming for sleeping and you take a coffee. It's, it's I mean, obviously, uh, not all the time you can have um, the sleep, but, you know, in that moment when you can, uh, it's good to have the sleep, not the coffee. <laughs> And uh, like I said, for me recently, I'm I'm like mm, reading. Uh, it's it's relaxing a lot, uh, relaxing me a lot. And um, I had like a bit of a break in painting. Uh, for some reason, I didn't feel painting too much lately. Uh, just small things, not going in in big uh, canvases. Uh, also, I change like what I was the style I was painting I tried different things but yeah I was like a bit like ups and downs and discovering things and letting go if it's not working and just um, let's say being very <laughs> very um, uh, not judgmental judge, judgmental with, with myself and with what is happening in, inside just okay this is what I feel now and it's okay <laughs> So um, I hope you you are well and you had like a, uh, we passed through these times uh, like the last two months that weren't super easy and but uh, seems that it's a bit at end and I hope that uh, we all had some insights that uh, helps to I don't know realize things that maybe we like or don't, we don't like but I think that everything. It's um, helpful, you know. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna um, pass the um, s the third uh, rock, and now what I want to do it's something that because I have like um, these two rocks that are in in almost um, like not so much in balance. If I let this here, probably it's gonna fall down. <laughs> So I'm trying also to have a little bit of realism here, like very little, <laughs> not too much. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna make a rock now in this side. So I'm trying to compensate because here I have, you know, the, um, uh, let's say the point of balance on this side. Now I'm gonna put it here because like uh, we know in physics, this is gonna fall down here. So I'm gonna do something here. So I'm gonna do something that it's a bit like, um, let's say a bit smaller because also like in painting are some kind of um, rules. For example, if you have like in a painting all the elements, the visual elements, the same size, that painting will gonna be a bit, um, let's say even, like almost boring. Uh, it's not catching your eyes, it's not like you don't have contrast, you don't have different differences. So that's why, for example, here I have uh, this big one, after this one in that it's horizontal, and after that I have two small elements, and this is a bit smaller. So if I had all the, the elements the same, it would have been like a bit um, boring and not, you don't have contrast, and th this is what you need in painting, it's like, contrast till a limit it's like sometimes can be too much contrast <laughs> but uh, it's better to have more contrast than not contrast so now I'm gonna do like a small rock and I'm gonna do it again like very um, transparent here so something like this I had a bit oops I forgot that I had salt on my okay so this is my small rock. And the next one is gonna be here a bit bigger. So this is the small one. And also I'm gonna do it a bit like more transparent. Like almost not too much color. 
and a different kind of burnish something like this okay we have more people here Delia hello nice to see you here <laughs> did you oh, not connect it through Gmail okay but um, have you seen everything in the beginning If not, you can you can watch it after that. But I think it's not. I mean, it's okay if you start also now. It's very visual. <laughs> okay, so now we have this um, this little rock. And for the next one, this is a bit tricky here. Okay, it's from the beginning. Nice. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm gonna do something here that, um, let's see if it's working. Sometimes you have to do it <laughs> uh, and to risk it, to be a bit bold uh, in order to see if it's working or not. Sometimes you can just can imagine and you realize that it's uh, maybe not working, but um, for me, I like to, to risk so for me, it's okay if I do something and if it is not working. <laughs> it's just a piece of paper and I really recommend to everybody, this is just a piece of paper. If it's not working, nothing, it's the world uh, will still be there. And um, the only thing that can happen is that you throw away the paper or yeah, you learn something that that is not working. So it's, uh, it's okay. So I have the option maybe to do another one here and to put one on the top, but um, how I see it on my eye, I don't think that it's working too much. So I'm gonna do a big one here and I still can put something here. So I prefer to do the, the big one first. So you do it just with the water, but I'm gonna do it for you to see it with uh, a bit of color. So I'm gonna do something like this, maybe a bit more deform here so you you see what i'm what i mean here is like uh, this look that everything will gonna fall down on the right so maybe i put something here or i'm gonna put another another stone here but also can can be like this you know it's like finally it's a painting it's not like a reality so let's do this one and after that we think about. Um, so this one I'm gonna do it a bit more blackish. Also I have this that is going down. If uh, it's happening doesn't matter because we're gonna pass again with a bit of color. Also you can put like, I don't know, a bit of blue if you want in, oh, it's violet. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. What I like with the other color is that you can come on the top of the, it's also working with acrylics, obviously. You can, if you didn't put too much color, you can uh, put on the, on the top uh, another color, but also it's nice to have like layers and to have like this transparency and um, to see a little bit of color from, the first layer. For me, it's a nice painting. It's a painting that has a lot of colors, a lot of uh, texture and a lot of layers because it's, um, it, you see that it's something happening and you discover things, you know, through, through layers. In general, if you have just one layer, it's a bit, um, it's a bit like boring because it doesn't have like things that you can discover when you come closer this is something that I, I teach a lot on the the workshops and the retreats that to work in and to build up layers in especially in the acrylic when you work with the acrylics so you see here that this they they connect here but uh, after that when we want to work with the very thin um, brush we can correct that 
So I think I'm gonna do another one here, another because in my eyes looks a bit more balanced, something like this. Okay, and now I'm going with a bit of contrast here, like black. This is like a bit more brownish, and here I have it more black, and I add like just a bit of water. And this is another. Also, it's nice if you like a little bit like um, white dots to not put uh, color everywhere. So you can take, if you put too much water, you can take a little bit with the paper. And uh, also the white dots, you can add them when it's dry with the, with the jelly roll. So I think now I like it more. I don't know if, if I would add something else because after that it's too full. Yeah, I think I like it like this. Like I said, it's it's not we don't make physics here. <laughs> it's just a painting and um, um, can be exactly how you you wish to be. It can be like uh, completely. Uh, a fantasy so so now that uh, we have all the rocks probably your paper it's also wet like mine and if you have um, a hair dryer we can use that one and dry a little bit uh, the paper and after that we come back so I'm gonna go to take my hair dryer and there where you have the salt you can let it there and when it's everything dry then we can take the the salt till then if you want you can put a bit more salt i have something that for i'm gonna put it here on the top of this one and yeah just here this I like a lot, <laughs> this salt <laughs> effect. So I'm gonna take my dryer and come back. And for this, uh, because I'm gonna make some noise, I'm gonna take the sound for a few seconds. Uh, I don't want to scare you <laughs> with this sound. So Okay, I'm back with the sound. And um, I want to explain you a little bit about the dryer. So what I have, it's a bit uh, too, too strong. So it's like a heat gun that you can find in Hobby or Bound Hobby or any um, uh, tool shop. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it's getting to almost 1000 degrees so this is very strong and it's practically it's melting uh, plastic or um, yeah it's used for melting surfaces so if you use something like that take care when you use this one um, can damage your computer if you have the computer closed or can melt 
I don't know, the table or whatever you have. So for me, I had here like this uh, tape and almost melted and obviously my paper is a bit now waving. So maybe I'm gonna put another one here. Okay, if it's happening, doesn't matter because uh, also at the end, sometimes I work with this paper without any tape and after that I iron it. So if you have it um, doing waves, you can iron it at the end and it's, it's working. So now that it's dry, you have it dry, let me know if, um, if I can pass to the, the nice, uh, next uh, step. If you have it dry, where are you in the process? Okay, so Dahlia has it dry and I hope everybody has it dry, more or less. Okay, Stephanie also. Okay, I'm gonna pass to the next. So now you can take the, um, the salt, if you put salt, if not, <laughs> just uh, wait a second. So you can take the salt either with the hand or with a bit of uh, paper, or if you have like um, a brush that is a bit more harsh, like uh, let's say something that's a bit, a bit more hard, you can take it with the with the brush. Okay. And you see now when you take it, it's very nice effect that it's staying here. It almost looks like the moon. It's a, it's a nice effect because otherwise you cannot really do it with the, the brush. Uh, that, um, it's actually the salt that it's taking the color and when it's drying, it's uh, forming like a interesting little shapes. On, on the paper. So make sure that you have all the salt uh, out of your paper. Okay. So. Okay. So everybody, it's dry and. How is with the salt? It's uh, it's easy to take it. Do you have this um, nice like effects? Like I don't know how to describe this. This is for me. It's like the moon. How we see the moon. It has like little shadows and like very. Some parts are a bit more dry, a bit uh, uh, like more dark, and some parts are like like little shades. <laughs> And what I like that it's like they're random. It's not something thought through our mind because if we try to do it with our mind, uh, it's a bit um, delicate. It's not so random because our mind try all the time to put things in the shelves, to put them like to organize, to put them right, <laughs> and aligned and straight and all these things. So uh, I like this randomness. And you see here, it's like really like, like the moon. Like, let's say like a natural rock <laughs> or something like that. So now what we can do, if you have all the salt out from the paper, um, we can take a little bit of uh, colors uh, that it's more or less close to the, the color that you use already in, in the first, if you have it, uh, in the first rock. Uh, and uh, fill up the, the gaps. So you see here, I don't have between my first rock and the uh, base, I have a gap. And I want to fill up this gap and I'm going with a very fine um, brush. I'm going and I'm filling up the, the space. 
It doesn't have to be exactly the same color. If it's not, it doesn't matter. If you just go a little bit more, you can do like a little, let's say, shapes, like spots here and there of this color to have like a, let's say, little correspondence of, of this color to not be very, very off. So I'm putting here a bit. And actually, it looks even nicer if you have this uh, a bit little different color here. Okay, and now it's it's touching there, and here where it's where it touched too much. Here, practically, you see I have the same color um, because they they connected. And now I want to have a contrast. So I'm taking like a bit of black. I want to have like different color in between these two rocks. So I took a bit of black and I'm going here on the upper rock. And practically I, I'm, in a way it looks like a shadow almost. But I want to, to be visible that it's um, where is the line in between the, the rocks and the are two different rocks not that it's like the one it's <laughs> it's like um, um, flowing into the other one <laughs> so I put like I said a bit of black and after that I take a bit of water and I'm going I'm pushing this black inside the rock so um, it will be like different color from the the other rock but uh, still it's not like so off it's making a, a contrast and still it's merging into this color of of the rock and now i want to have like a bit different color here also and i'm taking a bit of brownish and here I'm doing the same I'm tracing like a line that after that I'm gonna put a bit of water and I'm doing like a bit loose so now I have like um, separation a clear separation between the the rocks And I'm doing the same thing here in this one because it also they seem that they are like they melt into each other and I'm gonna do the same thing. I take a bit of um, let's say brownish here and I'm working on this one, the small one. And this because it's a bit um, uh, let's say even I'm gonna do some little things like lines like some spots something like this to give like a bit more um, let's say to look like more like a rock I even put a bit more color. This uh, I almost put too much, but um, it's I can take a bit with the paper. So never be worried if you put too much color. You can take with the paper. And now I'm going up here at the last rock, and here also I want to put some black. And trace the line. So first I go with the, with the color, not too much water. And after that, I take water and I'm spreading the, the color inside. 
because if I have too much color or too much water from the beginning that can be that we're gonna I'm gonna melt again with the um, I'm gonna yeah unite again with the other rock so now I have like a, a clear separation uh, more or less because now I've seen that the other color came here okay so now um, we have all the rocks maybe also here these are like um, fine tuning <laughs> let's say details also I'm going here a little bit and this one and doing some little marks on my rock something like this okay so now that we have all these details done we can go to um, i'm gonna show you here to um, add some lines like i said uh, at the beginning uh, with um, on the rocks this uh, these lines that you you see on the rocks like can be something like this or like this or like a round shape i mean more or less round <laughs> like i said like a uneven um, circle <laughs> um, whatever you you feel like also what i suggest to look a bit at the um, at at your rocks here and see if you have something that can be um, let's say um, uh, can be um, more bold so for example here we have this uh, like hole that if i put a bit more black around we're gonna look like more bold something like this um, also here I have like a little spot a white one and I can go uh, around with like a bit more black and it's more contrast uh, also I have something here here or if you don't have anything doesn't matter you can create you know so also here I have some this spaces like and I can do a bit more these are like spots on the on the rocks also you can do um, like little dots uh, for example I would do some dots here with the the fine the fine brush and try to go a bit random without any anything in mind just you know go with the flow and and see what it's coming out sometimes in in painting if we stay too much in the head um, the ideas are not coming you, you feel like overwhelmed because it's like now I need an idea but actually the ideas of coming doing things and actually you can do something that uh, uh, Maybe it's not what you want, but it's giving like a hint for the next step. And uh, yeah, it's how it's working the, the inspiration, at least for me. So I don't have a clear idea from the beginning. I just have like a glimpse of an idea. And after that, I'm starting to work and another idea is coming and another idea. And uh, it's like step by step. I, I cannot... I don't know how the process it's uh, gonna be from the beginning so now for example here I want to add like a, a line of like black to do it more clear there and also you can work with um, 
with uh, brown or the other color that you, you choose. I don't know if you choose to do it with blue or with uh, brown or with uh, other color, doesn't matter, but uh, add like different lines of different, different colors. So here uh, I have a bit of brown and then we're gonna do some line. So if you have in your rock, in your rock, in your, yes, drawing, if you have like something, like a delimita delimitation between colors, you can put more emphasis in that delimitation. You can take the, the color and yeah, help to, to have it like more bold. Like for example, here I use uh, a bit this brown and here I'm gonna use it again. Also try the lines to not have them completely straight. It's like um, if you have like a shaking hand, that would be fantastic <laughs> actually, because like I said, the lines on the rocks, they are not completely straight. They're a bit um, shaky. And also you can use now the white if you want. So for the white, maybe um, if you want, you can have like uh, dots, what I'm going to do here, some dots. You can do like different sizes of uh, dots, like something that's a bit bigger, something that's a bit smaller, and you can go like, like on a side. Okay, or like in the middle of the rock. And you see I'm trying like different sizes of, because it's like I said before, sometimes if it's everything like the same size is boring, it's not too much contrast. And if you don't have contrast, it's, um, it's not appealing. Okay, so here I have this. So I'm gonna do here something like this. And if it's too much uh, white, if you think there's too much contrast, you can add either water or you can, if it's still wet, you just pass the finger on the top. <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now um, we can pass to the um, golden um, thread. So if you ha if, if you don't have golden um, watercolor, I have these ones. Um, if you don't have something like this can be like golden or can be, depends of the color that you choose um, to make your rocks. You can use like copper or golden or, or this silver. Uh, I like to use golden, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not a golden person, but uh, in painting in this style, I think fits very nice. It's a very nice contrast and looks nice on, on the reflection of the light. Uh, but if you don't have something like this, you can very well use like this jelly pen or if you have ink, like golden ink, also it's, uh, it's good, something like this. This is acrylic, uh, golden ink or just simple um, ink. <laughs> or if you don't have nothing of this, you can use uh, a black uh, marker, uh, something that is a bit fine. Uh, if you have a marker that is not very, very um, thick, um, that would be, would be perfect. So um, I'm gonna use this golden and I hope you see it nicely because sometimes you see the golden just when uh, it's 
you move the, the paper like here, for example, you see like this is flat, you don't see, you almost see um, a yellowish thing, but if you, if it's moving a bit, you see the, the reflection. And if it's uh, moving in the sun, it's even nicer. I'm trying to find a, yeah, something like this. <laughs> so I want to show you this one. So now uh, if you want, you can do just these uh, threads. Like here, it looks very, very nice in the reflection, yeah. So you can use just um, to do something like a thread that is going around the rock or can go like around two rocks like I did here. You see it's going around this flat one if you did something like this and after that it's going around this one and it's disappearing. disappearing. So you can do either that one or you can do something like I did here for example that it's finishing in the last rock and after that I did like a tree and it's disappearing again. So um, this tree it's nothing fancy just some leaves I'm gonna show you in a separate paper and um, you can use this example or if you want you can do whatever you feel like. <laughs> it's um, completely up to you so I'm gonna do here like a um, the tree that I did here, like an example. So let's say this is our final rock. We have different rocks here, ta -da, and something here. And we have these threads that are going like around this one and maybe this one, something like this. And after that, we have here like a thread that it's going like in our final one. And here, Let's see, we start something like this. And you see it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it a bit more thicker. If you can see it better. Okay, something like this. And after that, our thread that uh, is coming from here, I'm gonna do another one here that it's connected, is going somewhere here, out. Can be two or one, depends how you feel, okay? And the, um, the leaves, just very simple leaves, something like this. Like, and you can do this. So that is the leaf. And you start to put left and right of the, the branches. And in some point, this is gonna look very nice. At the beginning, it doesn't look nice because it's like you have very little, but adding uh, more leaves, gonna start to look, to look nice. You have to be confident. <laughs> Sometimes this is uh, what is happening on, on painting. We start something and the beginning doesn't look nice, <laughs> but, um, and we lose confidence and uh, we, stop, we stop painting, but you have to continue and um, uh, give it a chance, you know, <laughs> and try and try. Also, uh, this is the way you build layers. If you don't like it, you can paint on the top and Actually, uh, it's very nice because um, it's the way to to have more, uh, let's say, uh, effects on uh, each layer that you build. Okay, so something like this, let's say. Okay, <laughs> somebody is saying that this looks like potatoes. Uh, maybe. Also, this look like potato finally, but um, like you have to look at the, um, the big picture. And if still look like potatoes, can be that maybe you did it too even, too perfectly even. So you can go with the color to take some more color, like I'm gonna do here. Um, 
a little bit for the sake of demonstration and you add like a bit more um, let's say um, a corner or um, to not be completely even so something like like this so you can modify the the shape of your rocks or potatoes <laughs> in that case so it's not um, it's okay Okay, so I'm gonna go now with this um, golden. So I'm putting some water. I know what kind of gold you have. If you want to let me know um, what kind of gold you use, if it's a watercolor or use the, the jelly pen or something else. Normally in this one, I have to put a lot of color here and I don't put in another I don't put separately here because I want to have quite uh, a lot of um, of golden to be very vi very visible. Yeah. And now um, let's say I don't want to have like everywhere around of the all the um, the rocks. I'm gonna go around this one and around this one and this one so this I let them aside so um, Stephanie it's using a marker so with the marker I think also it's very visible because I did some with the marker also also with the the brush can be a bit tricky because uh, can be that it's not very um, uh, thin and now I want this to have it like quite thin so actually with the marker can be that you have more control than with the with the brush maybe it's good actually to start with the marker sometimes uh, and I remember at the beginning actually I start with the marker uh, I do something like like this and after that I'm going with the with the brush on the top so I don't know if you see the marker that way here I don't see the marker very well yeah more or less <laughs> I see it very well and I, when I change my position and uh, the light it's reflecting differently so um, uh, I'm gonna pass to to the brush it's better for you to see it but also the marker it's it's okay okay so if you want you can go also with like a um, simple um, uh, pen and try first the the lines to see where you go and after that you go with the brush if uh, you don't have too much control over the very fine brush so I go something like this and I want the lines to sometimes to over overlap each other I'm doing like maybe two lines here and I'm gonna do like one that is like um, alone also yeah still is not very visible because it's the light <laughs> um, so this line I have it from coming from here and I'm gonna we'll go with one something like this completely off a bit okay it wasn't like very nice very good idea I'm gonna try to clean this you can clean it fast if you put a bit of water on the top if it's not dry and you can take it okay and now I'm trying because I want to get here so yeah this is my connection with the second one and now I have here this so I'm gonna do another line that's going to this one to have a connection with the small rock here I don't know how it's this line this light it's I hope that you see it well 
gonna do it a bit more thicker so you can see it better okay now I think you see it a bit better normally I like to have them very very fine <laughs> but it's okay now I want you to see them better that's the main idea And now here um, I'm going to do the, um, the thread that is coming like from behind of the rock, something like this, another one here, and something like from here. And here up, I think I'm not going to do the, the tree because here I have like, I like a lot this, these dots and I'm going to do some golden dots. Like here where I had the, the salt, I'm going to put some golden dots. Normally I do this tree when on this uh, background of the rock, it's a bit like even, I don't have too much differences between, I don't have contrast, but here actually I like this, this part I like a lot and the dots and I want to let them lay like that, not cover them with the, with the tree. And now I'm adding this threads here also something like this also it's good here if you have like shaking hand <laughs> and you don't have the threads like very straight and also overlap them a lot so this overlapping here I like and the last one I put something here Okay, and now this is going out of my rock and, and the page and I'm going to put another one. Also something here like this. Also, if you want, you can, uh, in some parts of your thread, you can add a little bit more thickness. Like, for example, here I'm adding a little bit more thickness. It's giving like a nice contrast again. And, okay, very fine, not too much also here a little bit and also I'm going here almost I put too much but it was like um, for for you to see it better and here I'm gonna put a bit more okay I think I like my my lines my threads Maybe I'm going to put it a bit more thicker here and this is it, okay. So, um, you can still go back and see how the rocks looks and see if you are happy with them. Uh, you can add, uh, for example, uh, more lines. Here I would put a bit more. I add this one. So uh, always you can come back and see if you're happy with your design. So I don't know, this I like a lot, this um, random lines. 
Okay, almost. I feel like doing some some lines here a bit more finer. Something like this. Okay, so okay, thank you, Yolanda. I'm happy that you could stay up to now. I think it's won't gonna be too much, like an, maybe another ten minutes. So, yeah, you can check after that the um, the link on uh, YouTube, and you can see the the end, and um, yeah. You can you can ask me after that about the retreat i can tell you about the retreat so thank you for being with us and um, good luck with the course <laughs> bye um, okay so now we can go to uh, the splashes now we can use this uh, fan um, brush if you don't have this one, you can take a um, toothbrush and or um, let's say any kind of brush, something like this also you can use. Something that it's a bit thicker than, than this one, the thin one. So um, I'm going to uh, show you with this one to have an, uh, an idea and uh, let's say... You can take a pen or or another brush. I have another brush here that's a bit and that it's a bit thicker because you're gonna hit with the fan brush on this one, and the the water that you have here with color, we're gonna go very nicely and very. You can control the um, the splashes a little bit, which is very important when you. I mean, the splashes has to look. Have to look like uh, let's say um, random but actually um, you like a painter um, let's say it's it's good to control them <laughs> because i had like experiences where they got crazy everywhere <laughs> so uh, i learned how to control them and to put them to look like to make them look like random but uh, at the same time to have a control upon them so now I take, uh, you can take um, like either black or uh, this um, golden and have some splashes. I'm going to take a bit of golden here. So what is important to have a lot of water because uh, actually the, your splashes are a lot of water with a bit of color. So if you have like a very dry brush and too much color, you won't gonna have splashes. So I have here the my fan brush with a lot of water, but not too much that it's it's um, uh, so liquid that it's falling already. It's staying on my brush. This uh, splash is gonna fall on the paper <laughs> when I'm gonna hit the this other other brush so i want to have something here and something here so i'm gonna do something like this and you see they are very small which i like and i'm gonna have also something here if you want to have like a uh, bigger bra bra um, splashes <laughs> you have to take more water which i'm gonna take now and now i'm i'm just gonna you see this i'm not gonna hit my other brush i'm just gonna i don't know the word in english just shake the the brush <laughs> and now i have bigger splashes so now these are my uh, golden golden uh, splashes and uh, splashes ah oh, splashes <laughs> and now i'm gonna take a, a bit of uh, black and for this I take a bit of black on my brush and I take here, I put a lot of um, let's say color and now I'm gonna put some um, 
splashes here, like a small one. And again, something here, like very small. So these are very, very small, very tiny. And now I want some of them that are a bit bigger and I'm gonna put much more water. And now I have a lot of water here and I'm just gonna do this movement without, see now they're much bigger. Okay, so I have like a background of very tiny, smallish, uh, splashes and after that I have like the big ones. Okay. So now we can go back to the, because these are like quite liquid and we can go back to our, um, our um, hair, dry, uh, hair dryer and I'm gonna take the sound. <laughs> Okay, here I am back. Um, this is gonna take a bit of time to dry. If you have too much water, you can take with the, with the paper, but also you can actually let it there because it's, um, uh, this was the last step. So what I want to do is to take the, um, the tape. If you still have water there, it's okay. Just let it there. For me, I just want to show you a bit because I don't think, I don't know how well you see the, the golden to see the final uh, result I still have some liquid uh, splashes there but that's okay so now we see very well the um, if this is gonna focus okay so now it's focusing it will be better and you see how nicely you can these golden lines and threads they are visible so it's really really beautiful or I don't know I like it I like it a lot <laughs> okay let's put it here again so I hope you enjoy it. I, I'm really curious about your, your um, rocks, potatoes or whatever, <laughs> doesn't matter. It's uh, just keep in mind that, um, you know, this is the first attempt also for me, it took me, um, I did a lot and obviously it's much easier, but if for the first time um, have, um, how do you say, like compassion towards you, you know, don't judge yourself too much because it's like anything that you try the first time, it won't gonna be like uh, a masterpiece. It's normal to, um, to not be like how you uh, envision. Um, uh, it's, um, let's say, um, uh, when you see something that you like, uh, like work of uh, art of a painter, just keep in mind that this person is doing this every single day and uh, has like experience and um, it's normal that it's, it's, it's nice. Uh, also, not every painter is showing everything. It's just showing what they are happy with, the, the, the results. Uh, I'm sure like myself, everybody has at home, like uh, every painter has at home, a lot of um, artwork that they are not happy with them. Um, they, didn't, they don't like them. That doesn't look even nice, you know? It's like just that they don't show them. So um, that's why it's, it's good to keep in mind that when you do the first time some, something doesn't mean that you're gonna be like a, a work of art. Um, art. Just 
you have to focus a lot into the process if you like it and if you enjoy it uh, that will gonna help you to, to work more and to try more um, but also to enjoy something you have to like the process you have to give up expectations and just do like the kids do they, they just try something you know it's like um, it's something that uh, we for we forgot you know <laughs> to just have fun in trying things and uh, obviously if you like it you can try again and try and try again and all the time you're going to be better and better so um, yes thank you so much for being here with me um, if you want to show me to send me what to send me what you did you can send it tag me in uh, in instagram if you are instagram my instagram it's uh, Anna Paz artist or you can send it uh, to me via email or in facebook whatever you you connect with me so um, i would love to see your your rocks <laughs> Uh, or potatoes <laughs> doesn't matter <laughs> i just love to see them and um, i wish you a very nice evening um, i wish you to keep uh, being creative and uh, in any kind of style any kind of uh, uh, endeavor you you try like in it can be cooking or gardening or um, dancing or whatever you doesn't matter just be creative <laughs> And um, if you want more information about retreats or workshops, just drop me a line in, in Instagram, Facebook, or, or um, uh, my, my website <laughs> or email. Also, for those that are in uh, Switzerland, uh, I have a good news. In uh, uh, paint events, we're going to open on uh, June. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, 11 of June, if I remember well um so stay tuned <laughs> and we can see each other soon at the paint events so thank you so much and have a nice a nice evening bye bye everybody